Hi people, Daniel from Devon Sons Guitars here, and today we're talking about electricity. Yeah, so welcome to my series of A to Z of the guitar. Each day of this month, February 2021, I'm releasing a new video, and each video is about a different topic. Today is electricity, and more specifically, can you electrocute yourself with an electric guitar? Now, here I've got the E for electricity, and it's from uh, the start of a well-known brand of something guitar related. At the end of the month, the last video of February 2021 from Devon Sons Guitars will be like a pub quiz where I'll break down all the logos you've seen and tell you where they're from. So keep track and see how many you get right. For now though, let's talk about electricity and guitars. So although it's called an electric guitar, it doesn't actually have electricity directly within it in a way that we would talk about that's dangerous. What it has in it is pickups, and here are three pickups, two single coils and a humbucker. In this A to Z series, I'm covering both single coils and humbuckers, so I won't go into too much detail about how they work, but essentially they are electromagnets. So, well, they're transducers, in fact, but they create an electromagnetic field because they have magnets in them and they're wrapped around with wire, just like you might have an electromagnet. So the single coils and the humbuckers work slightly differently, but it's essentially the same thing that's happening. When you play a string, it's vibrating within the magnetic field caused by the electromagnet or the transducer or the pickup, as it is. And if you were to measure what happens within that electromagnetic field, you'll see that electrons are produced to move. And the waveform of those electrons, if you were to see them on a graph, is exactly the same as the waveform of the sound of the string that's being strummed or plucked. So essentially, electrons are moving within the electromagnetic field and when an electron moves within a circuit, and here we've got a circuit within the guitar, we've got the pickups connected to the volume and tone pots and the switches and into the jack. When the electrons move, they kind of shift all the other electrons along in the line that links from the guitar to the amp. Now, I haven't plugged my guitar in yet, we'll get to that in a minute. So what happens is, as the electrons move, they go through the volume, and as you turn the volume up and down, essentially what you're doing, when it's up all the way, you're just letting the electrons flow smoothly, and when it's down all the way, you're restricting them by sending the, some of them to the ground, which essentially neutralizes them. It essentially takes the volume and the, the, the shape, the waveform, and squashes it down. Then they go through the tone. Now the tone, because of the way it's wired with a capacitor in it, it changes the sound or the, the shape of that form. So it tends to cut off the trebles. So it makes it more bassy sounding. So that's what the tone does. And then it goes into the jack. Now again, well prepared here. I've got um, a video about jacks coming up in the A to Z, but what we do is we plug our guitar lead into here. So now we're completing a circuit from the guitar through the lead up into the amp. Mine's going via my tuner. It might be going through effects pedals or whatever, but it's going into the amp in the long run. And because it's a whole circuit, as those electrons move, they move all the way along the lead and they move until they get into the amp, where in the amp, there, there might be a, a preamp, but there's some sort of uh, electronic effects, electronic unit that will amplify those small electrons and make them louder and then they go through essentially another transducer, another electromagnet on the other end which is the speaker and they make that speaker vibrate. So as soon as I pluck my string it vibrates within the electromagnetic fields of the pickups. That causes the electrons along the stream as it were to vibrate and they move along into the um, amplifier where that signal is amplified and causes the sound. So essentially, there's not really electricity per se in here, it's just those tiny electrons moving. I mean, it is electricity, but it's so tiny. It's the amp that makes it larger. So as I try to explain to people, you are part of a circuit now. We're connected there with conductive materials. So if you were to get some sort of electric shock, it's because of some problem with the amp that's causing the actual electricity, the current to flow back up into you. That shouldn't really happen. It's very unlikely to happen. Mm. 
So this is one of my Shattercasters. It's one of the guitars I make and sell through my website. So do check them out if you have a moment. I should say the main reason I'm making this video is when I first started Devil and Sons Guitars off as a business, I had to sort out insurance, especially as I was shipping my guitars to America. Now my insurers were very worried that people would electrocute themselves playing guitars. So I had to explain exactly why you can't do that. And if you did do that, it's not the fault of something I've made. I don't think the insurers quite understood and that's why my insurance is so high. But there you go, better be safe than sorry. So if you did like this video, please like, subscribe, share with other people. I'm on lots of different social networks. So if you share on those, do tag me in them. Until next time, happy strumming.